All right, guys, like me from Task Force Gaming, we are doing another flight stick video today. I've already done the setup of the Phantom Hawk. This is the Speedlink Phantom Hawk. Got it off Amazon for about 25, so this is one that I'm going to be doing the tutorial on today. So, I just did the review on the stick itself, that's on the channel. And then um, I uploaded a flight simulator one as well. And uh, a lot of comments on there saying how to set up a stick. So, I'm going to do that with you now. Okay, you go to controls. When I got this, it recognized that I have a Speedlink Phantom Hawk flight stick, but it had nothing on it. Literally, it was all empty. So, I had to go through and do it all myself. So, to save you a bit of pain, um, I will show you. So, first things first, select your, your stick. It should come up in there if you're updating the drivers and things like that. Okay, now this is lots of buttons on. Um, we've got all the buttons on there, on there, we've got the sticks at the top, we've got two triggers on this. I'll show you what I use them for in a minute. I don't use the suction cups, I've got a massive mouse about the size of the table and it does not move on there. Okay. So, we've got the brakes set up, they're just any controller buttons that you want to do. The main one is the parking brake. Okay, so we set up the parking brake. Now the flight control surfaces. Okay, now this is the one you want. Okay, for roll left, I just clicked, and it comes up with this a sign. So we're gonna click that. And to roll left, I'm going to roll left. Comes up joystick L axis X. There you go. I'm gonna validate, and that will stay there. Same for that. Roll right. We roll right. Pitch down. Okay, I want to go down. Oh, see, it does it as you do it. Okay. Now, left and right. I don't know what stick you've got. But left, this twists. So it's doing it with me, look. It's selecting it. So I'm twisting to go left, twisting to go right. That's my yaw, so that's turning the plane like this. Okay. Up, down. Things like that. we got the landing gear. It's just nine on there. Click. I'll show you all this in a minute, actually in game. Okay, throttle, one and two. I've got two triggers in here, one, two. Top one's one, bottom one's two. Okay, so if I want to increase the throttle, clicking up to go fast, down to go slow. And that is like the main bits, right? There is so much input you can do on this thing. Right, that's just my assigned. If I go to all oh, miscellaneous instruments and systems, don't even worry about it. You can do that in the cockpit view with the mouse and the stick still works. So you can still do everything in there. Land and gear, lights, menu, power management, everything can be done in the cockpit view. I just literally use my stick just for maneuver. That is it, just for maneuverability. So we're going to go home, apply and save. Okay, so that's set that. World map. Let's just select. Okay guys, so we are on the runway, I'm going to show you how all the controls work, we're just going to let everything load. Okay now, straight off the bat, parking um, brake is engaged. I've set my parking brake to one of the missile buttons, that red one there. So if I press that, it will disengage the brakes. And then I'll use my throttle forward, which I've set as the trigger, to go forwards. And then I can take off using this to move. And if I show you in the options quick, so we go to controls, got that, that's all them, easy peasy, uh, brakes, flight control surfaces, primary control, okay, that's all your movement, and things like parking brake, and things like that you've got to set up. Um, now, if you click sensitivity, this is what mine's on. Okay, these are your dead zones, you can you know see how quick it's going to respond if you're going up i'll show you dead zones left right up down with your sensitivity okay they want to play around with that for a bit because it can get pretty crazy up there um okay so we're on the speed link okay and like i said let me show you all the uh now you're in first person so you just i'm just using the mouse now okay look Let's show you what everything is. Well, this can be a bit too much. I fly in third person, I'll show you. You can access all the instruments using your mouse. 
So if you go to the top of the screen at Laro, you've got autopilot. You can control aircraft, you can turn it on, and the autopilot will take you straight up and just fly to your destination for you. Now, if you can take autopilot off at any time, put it on at any time. So if you get him to take off for you, and then um, you can sort out the things, all the buttons. So I use external, I usually use a smart cam, turn it off. So this is my plane, holding the right mouse button to look around. Okay, we're going to take off. So we're going to disengage the brakes by pressing the missile button. And we're going to turn the throttle up using my trigger. Okay, throttling up. When this picks up speed, we're going to take off. You don't need to pull up or anything, it usually just takes off by itself. Okay, there, it's starting to go off. We're just flying now, not even touched anything. Okay, we've got the landing gear. I've got mine to a middle button there. Landing gear goes in. Okay, now we're flying. You can pause the game anytime. It'll stop you playing exactly where it is in the air. You can go on to controls. You can mess around with the sensitivity, the inputs. Um, you can mess around what sign. You can go to all. You know, you got everything in there, but nothing that you can't access um, by using the cockpit. Um, so you got all your assistance here as well. Aircraft systems, like you put everything on easy, just while you're getting used to it. All right, your ATC, you can turn the voices on. They'll talk to you. Uh, all assists. And the general there, you got all your settings. Camera, sound, traffic. All right, you can show your name plates, you can turn that on. So I mean that's all I can show you early today, controls. Now we're gonna get up in the air. And we're flying now with the stick. You put it into first for you. Right, this is the realistic view. Using the mouse to turn there. It looks amazing. But I like to get right up first. The external there. Let's start with a nice light plane. Look. You can yaw slowly up. Down. Bring up your speed. Right, left, right. There we go, we're just flying with a stick now. Wiggle it about. Right, you've got a lot of options up here anyway. Turn autopilot on before I crash. It's gonna save me. No. <laughs> right. So up here, this is the VR VFR map that I use. Right there. Okay. GPS tracking. It gives you your waypoint as well. So you just follow that, and you can have a go at landing, which is pretty impossible. But anyway, that <laughs> that's a controller setup. Anyway, the rest is up to you. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching my video. If you like it, please like it. And uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.